In this video, we'll be exploring strokes and alphas. You can achieve some really interesting and dynamic design elements by incorporating different stroke and alpha types while sculpting in ZBrush. We've already discussed brush types inside the brush palette here in Z Classroom. These will serve as a starting point for what style elements are associated with your movements across the model. If you're new to ZBrush, it's important to note that the brush types will play a significant role in the stylistic appearance of your movements on the surface of your sculpt. Knowing this is important and will no doubt lend itself well as you progress in your sculpting adventures. What is visually represented on your model is derived from the stroke and alpha types linked to the specific brushes you are using. This means that a great deal of what you are seeing visually is the result of the various stroke and alpha settings embedded in the characteristics of your brush. The standard brush, for example, uses the dots stroke by default. You may also notice certain brushes have pre-assigned stroke types and alphas. Take for instance the clay buildup brush. Here, you will notice that the brush type selected is clay buildup and the associated stroke type is freehand, and the alpha type is alpha 28. All of these parameters make up the visual representations of what you are sculpting on the mesh. You can change these parameters, or particular settings, to suit your creative needs. You can even generate your own custom brushes based on modified alphas in conjunction with default stroke types. You can learn more about generating custom brushes inside ZBrush in a dedicated video here inside Z Classroom. For now, we'll concentrate on presenting the basics in order to help you build stronger foundations. In our first example, we'll start out with a clay buildup brush, which by default has the settings just mentioned, and manipulate what the visual representation of your movements across the mesh will be by simply changing the stroke type. Here, you see the visual effect of the default settings. When we change the stroke type to color spray, for instance, you can see the visual representation of that kind of stroke being quite different from the standard stroke type. To further demonstrate how much control you can have within ZBrush, let's change the alpha type to alpha 34 and the stroke type to drag rect. Here you see the effect of the stroke literally dragging the alpha out onto the mesh. No doubt, you're probably imagining a wide range of uses with this very basic demonstration. That's the power of ZBrush. By opening Lightbox, you gain access to even more alpha types. You can access these extra alpha types by either hovering over the Lightbox tab at the top left of your canvas or simply clicking the comma key. Once you have Lightbox open, click on the Alpha tab. This opens a sub-menu of extra alphas. These alphas can play a vital role in helping to generate compelling skin surfaces or textures. Double click on the alpha of your choice to make it active. To close Lightbox, you can either click the comma key or the Lightbox tab, or simply click the hide button here on the side. Again, you can extend the flexibility of ZBrush by composing your own custom alphas and using the default strokes shipped with ZBrush to create some very sophisticated design elements for your brushes. Remember to look for more advanced tips and tricks once you've mastered the basics. There's no telling what you can create. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time here inside Z Classroom.